Hey everyone. Today I'm going to read you another story in the Little People Big Dreams series. This one is on the famous musician named Stevie Wonder. Some of you may know of him. If not, I'm sure your mom and dad or your grandparents do for sure. He's really wonderful. And in his early life, he overcame some obstacles that would be very, very challenging for most of us. Let's learn a little bit more about him together. Seems like he likes sunglasses. Anybody know why? Little People Big Dreams, Stevie Wonder. One spring, a little child with a shiny smile was born in Michigan. His name was Stevie, and he became blind a few days after he was born. He wouldn't grow to see the beautiful world around him, but he would feel it and hear it. His family moved to Detroit, and Stevie had to stay home a lot. To help pass the time, he began banging on pots and pans. Soon he was playing his uncle's harmonica and a neighbor's old piano. When Stevie heard people playing music in the street, he stopped and introduced himself. Clicking his fingers, he joined the party with a joyful voice while John played the bongos. John's his brother. Looks like they're having a good time though, doesn't it? He was just 11 years old when he signed his first music contract with Motown, a label working with his favorite African-American artists. Everyone was so amazed by his talent that they named him Little Stevie Wonder. As a member of the Motown Review, Stevie crossed the country in a ramshackle bus composing songs on the road. He was always the first to go on stage and went straight to bed right after his performance. He's a little kid playing with all these grown-ups, isn't he? He became the youngest artist ever to top the charts with a song called Fingertips. Stevie also wrote countless songs about love and peace and all things that are worth having in the world. They were full of groove and fun melodies. For years, he had a tutor named Ted who wisely guided him. Ted also had limited eyesight and loved music as much as Stevie did. He wrote a few songs too, and one of them ended up being a hit on one of Stevie's albums. When Stevie's first daughter, Aisha, was born, he celebrated it with Isn't She Lovely? A song made with pure love of a happy father. You can even hear Stevie bathing his daughter in its closing moments. One day, Stevie was badly hurt in a car accident. He fell asleep for four long days and only woke up when his friend Ira was visiting. When Ira started singing a gospel song, Stevie began to tap his fingers to the beat. Stevie was committed to his community to support those who wanted the birthday of Martin Luther King Jr. to become a national holiday. He created a song. It was so full of joy that people still celebrate birthdays by singing it. From rhythm and blues to soul, from funk to pop, Stevie played everything. He even made mu music for a movie 
and won an Oscar for it. He first recorded, I just called to say I love you over the telephone. You can see it. that song is sung in many different languages. With 25 Grammy Awards, he is one of the most celebrated artists of all time. Stevie was also named Messenger of Peace by the United Nations and helped improve the lives of people with sensory, mental, and physical conditions. And looking back at all the good friends and great songs he made through the years, you can tell that little Stevie isn't just an amazing musician, but a person whose joy can be felt by anyone who sings along with him. Here's a little history of Stevie. Born Steveland Hardaway Judkins in Sagawaw, Michigan, Stevie Wonder arrived six weeks earlier than his parents had expected him. Doctors believed that too much oxygen at his birth caused him to go blind when he was just a few days old. From an early age, Stevie's awareness of sound and bright imagination helped him to create joyful, colorful music teeming with positivity. As a young man in Detroit, he sang in his father's church choir, and by the age of nine, he had learned to play the piano, drums, and harmonica. During a performance for some of his friends, he was introduced to a Motown records producer who signed him immediately under the name Little Stevie Wonder. Aged 12, his first single, Fingertips, was released on the album, The 12-Year-Old Genius, giving Motown its first ever chart-topping records. As well as performing, Stevie also began to write songs for other artists. Soon, he became known as a pioneer of music a master of the electronic keyboard to rock musicians all around the world. A voice of such range that he was the envy of jazz icons, an activist whose words came straight from his heart and the gospel influences of his childhood. Creating catchy tunes with honesty and care that every person could sing along to. His music touched hearts and minds. Today, he is one of the most successful musicians in history, recording 10 US number one hits and selling over 100 million records around the world. I would say Stevie Wonder is quite a success story, isn't he? Not only because he's a famous musician, but because he's a person who took a challenge that might have stopped other people from pursuing their dreams. And he went on to change the world. Wonderful story. I hope you loved learning about Stevie Wonder. And I really encourage you to see if you can get a grown up to help you find some of his music. I think you'll really like it. Have a great day, everyone.